In discussing the flipped classroom, I'm using the acronym FLIP, F-L-I-P, to discuss flexible learning spaces, learning community, intentional and incidental learning, and personal learning network. Today I'd like to share some thoughts about the fourth facet of the flipped classroom, personal learning network. Professional learning is really about this self-awareness of one's personal learning network and really looking at how this personal learning network or PLN contributes to a particular learning experience. A personal learning network is really about having the self-knowledge of different learning spaces, groups and networks, and really all forms of learning, both incidental and intentional, and how they all come together for a particular purpose at a particular moment and looking at how this personal learning network really adopts and adapts over time. A personal learning network is about really understanding ideas, beliefs, opinions, and thoughts, recognizing materials, maybe objects or even technologies, and really looking at the value of forming human relationships and how these three really come together, not necessarily looking at each in isolation, but more as associations that really influence each other and how they interact with each other. In a flipped classroom scenario, a learning network can be viewed at any level. You can look at it as having uh, individual characteristics. You can see learning networks among pairs and small groups. But what makes a personal learning network personal is understanding how power and prestige and really looking at these terms power and prestige from a network um, perspective, not necessarily a sociological perspective, but how they are revealed through the understanding of how all of these additional ideational material and human nodes collect and surround uh, the individual. So understanding a personal learning network really becomes the prerequisite for understanding a learning network at, at a group level. Understanding a learning network at the classroom level is about understanding learning networks at various groups or pairs or even individual levels. So within the context of formal education, an educator really has the responsibility of bringing about this awareness of student PLNs as well as one's own PLN. Recognizing that there is also a relationship between those two. An expert learner is one who has a high level of self-awareness of a purposeful PLN at any given time and how it again adopts and adapts over time. A personal learning network is at the heart of understanding what a flipped classroom is, how that flipped classroom is actually employed, and how effective, efficient, and engaging that flipped classroom can be for both the learner and the educator. In order to become adept, one needs to adopt and adapt a personal learning network. So the final facet of a flipped classroom, the personal learning network, really encumbers both the intentional incidental learning, the learning community, whether that takes on a group or network characteristics, whether that takes on group or network characteristics, and also looking at flexible learning spaces. Thank you for listening. If you have comments, suggestions, or alternative uh, perspectives about the flipped classroom, feel free to leave a comment below.